morning. I'm not at my regular PC, so the sound will be a little bit less. But I just had a what if. We were saying that Arco Linux D is the most minimal ISO there is. Now I've created already a new version, of course, right? Never stand still, always improve. And it's version 5.3. Well, we can't see it here. Unfortunately, we have the, these days, we have to type a little bit. So the version of May, right? Second version already. And um, I want to show you, this is Arch Linux most likely, um, if you've done an Arch Linux installation, the phase five, this is really where you get into, right? You boot up um, 10S root without the login and everything, but you boot up in your TTY and your black screen and then it's up to you. But in the meantime, in Article Linux D, what did you do? You took your phase one in articlinuxd.com, take it, uh, the look at the phase five there, phase one, you've partitioned everything, you've set your time and everything during Calamaris, that phase is, is done really. And in phase two, you're making an account, that account is done, I'm logged in. So the only thing left to do is actually get Xorg and get a desktop. So that's that phase that we are now in. But I just wanted to show you um, what do we have here installed, right? So minus R is a good thing to, to explore how um, light, how minimal is this, right? Now, this guy, the drivers, well, we have to put in something, right? We hope everybody has, in the end, a graphical environment and doesn't stay in a TTY. So we need to have those. <coughs> Xorg is not installed, anything Xorg, it's up to you except those guys <laughs> so that's out of the way as well so basically the only thing we have is go get your desktop go get your light dm or sddm or lxdm right these guys display managers and the desktops and um are there any K products in there? Plasma things, right? K things, no. There's nothing K related. Plasma things, no. P, nothing. P. A lot of Perl stuff. Part it is there. G part it is there. In the past, we said we want to have Melt. Is Melt installed? No. Melt is not installed. Sublime Text, we like that. Not installed. Firefox, not installed. Right? Vivaldi, one of the things we like as well. Vivaldi, not installed. So, it is a very bare and minimal um, Arch Linux slash Arch Linux ISO, which gives you the opportunity to get the feel of Arch Linux as well, without the really um, difficult part that's setting everything up in phase one and phase two. Now I was thinking I could can probably find some command to list everything. So let's uh, look for that. So with the wiki page, by my site you it is your bible guys um, there is so much information there go and have a look read it qe that's the first thing they say all right so we got a list great then you pipe it through more more like so and then i'll have a look right adobe source so there are um ttfs in there fonts or gtk theme is there True, true, um, because of the fact that we like something nice when we boot up in our live DVD. Arch ISO is there, so if you want to build, I'm at line whoop, six, seven on the top there, right? And then the Arch Linux stuff is there. The cron is going to make sure that the server of Arch Linux, the Arch Linux servers are up to date. Grub theme Vimix is when you boot up these nice uh, colors. Keyring is a signing. Logout is an application we use to log out our system. Mirror list is where are, where's the data. NeoFetch is this nice pop-up when you open up a um, terminal, you see this logo and all the technical data. Tweak tool, you know what it is, welcome, welcome. And the system configuration kit, which is uh, the system files. And then it's not us anymore. So basically um, four and four, I think I count nine from us. If I'm not mistaken, those are nine lines. 
I have to tell again, uh, count again. Nine. All right. And all the rest, well, our choices like Pipata cursor theme is there. Uh, Clumzilla is there. That's actually from Arch ISO. So there's a, an, um, well, there is a minimal package list that comes from Arch Linux, and that's in there. So, okay, we're at the bottom, more. Those are all stuff coming from Arch Linux that are needed, wanted. Network manager, we got, we got internet. You see the bunch of network managers in the middle? We got internet. Not our fonts, it's our font, right? Everywhere. Numlock X on means your numlock locks is on. Numlocks off means you start without numlocks on. It's only important if your numbers are not separate in the laptop. Then it can be annoying. All right, the bottom sadly icons there. Yeah, and on the rest on top, surfing icons are there. Termite is there. It's our our terminal, right? UXVT is our other terminal. VI and Vim are coming from the Arch ISO setup. One have internet, wireless, VPA, supplicant is there. And then the XFS86 things, be able to see something. XORG, same goes for the display. And we're at the bottom. So Yabin is to install things from um, AOR. And ZSH is another, like Bash is another shell. And that's it. So basically, I don't know um, if you are into Arch Linux already, this is pretty basic, right? This is uh, trying to make sure that everybody has something visual with drivers. You won't need all these drivers, but um, that's okay, right? We need to make something for everybody. And if you really, really want to cut on every package there is, there's only one way, Arch Linux, right? Phase five, and just take pick, cherry pick the packages you like. But that's not our goal, it's never our goal. Our goal is functionality and beauty. All right, so why not include the rest in the sense that, um, well, this Arch Linux feel, where is this Arch Linux feel, right? Well, you go on. So this is the base installation. I went through Arch Linux D without doing anything. Next, 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 next. Didn't click anything, right? So, all right, now it's next, all right? <laughs> we need to have something, LightDM is there. That's one thing. So that's the application. There's also the configuration. Okay, what is there? There is the GTK greeter and the GTK greeter settings. So we need these. I'm gonna go for an Arch Linux thing. Eh? Normally, I'm making, well, we've made our own things like Arch Linux. This is what we normally do, right? There is a nice themed look from us. Okay, let's go for a not so nicely themed Arch Linux look. And this is what other people get, right? If you're an Arch Linux, this is it. You have to choose this. And LightDM, there is nothing else to choose. Well, there is, but that's an AOR. Let's start with the basics. We need this. Okay, now we have a display manager, right? It's not enabled red already. Did not say use it. Now you have a lot of files on your system. You're not using it. That's it. Now you need to say, you see here, create assembly. Okay, you're fine. If you reboot, you got old already light yeah. But there's nothing behind it, so you can't go into something. There's nothing nothing to be launched afterwards. Now it's 16 choices, right? GWM is the last one, but plasma, mate, XFCE, QTAL, and so on and so on and so on. Now doing it the Arch Linux way is having a lot of time. I mean, if you want to start QTAL, we'll have to start with a QTAL config on the ArchWiki. Figure out what do they say I have to do. We have figured that out for you, and it's in Arch Linux QTAL app that you can install, right? So that's 
rather difficult for a tiling to, to jump in in a tiling window manager. What is easy to start with is say, let's install one of the desktops, Mate, Plasma, XFCE, stuff like that. That's going to be easy. Let's take XFCE and XFCE for Greece. Nice words. That's it. These two will arrange, will make sure that you have a desktop too. Can you imagine how easy this is? Two words to remember, and you got a in 44 megabytes. That's what I'm downloading. In 44 megabytes, you got a complete desktop. How awesome is that? Windows. <laughs> Take a look at this. All right, 44 meg. You got it. And thanks to the Arch Linux servers that are super fast, we got this fast installation. SR, sudo reboot. The aliases are here as well, otherwise we'll be frustrated, right? So the bash RC is not the bash RC you get in Arsenix. And this is the look of the standard light YAM. Maybe you like this one better, right? It is what it is. And this is the look that any Arch Linux user gets the first time around. This is Arch Linux. And then we started tweaking, right? Got rid of the panel, panel down there, uh, menu differently, and so on, and so on. Three years of work. And you get an Arch Linux look. All right, that's enough for me. I just wanted to share um, why Arch Linux D is so, so minimal and, and what's, what's still left there. Go over it with you because it's now become a playground. You can actually go through it and do not install anything and fi figure your way out the Arch Linux way or use our packages in Calamares to install its freedom all around. So have fun.